Manchester United out of the FA Cup tonight. 1-0 to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We lost their 4-0 earlier in the season. Uh, that wasn't a game where we could come away with any sort of pride. Tonight, 1-0. It could have been more. Chelsea missed a lot of chances. There's lots to talk about, including, as you can pull pop if I say that, but uh, I wasn't that confident coming into tonight because Chelsea had won 12 in a row at home, dominating the league. They're a strong team, looking very, very certain. Antonio Conte put out his strongest 11, and Chelsea came at us after the first 20 minutes. Because in the, first, in the very start of that game, Man United actually played very well. Marcus Rashford up top had an excellent game as a sole striker without Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the team. And for the first 20 minutes, Man United looked in control of that match. And I really didn't expect that, especially after Chelsea had such a fast start in the league game early this season at Stamford Bridge. But that red card changed everything. You know, Herrera was booked twice. First, because uh, Eden Hazard ran into his shoulder. I think Herrera knew what he was doing. Still somewhat semi-harsh yellow card. But you can understand that. Sometimes they're given, sometimes they're not. The second yellow, no. Just in no way is that a yellow card. Yes, it's silly for Ander Herrera to give Michael Oliver the opportunity to give him that red card. But is it a red card? Absolutely not. Eden Hazard diving left, right and centre, just like Diego Costa later in the game. And that changed it, because up until that point, Man United tactically and player for player matched Chelsea. And except for the individual moments where Eden Hazard turned his man with a, with a touch and found space. Jose Mourinho went there, we played three, three at the back tonight. We had Darmy and Young at win backs. We set up to mirror Chelsea, just like Spurs did earlier this season when they beat them. I think it was 2-0 in that game. And we were playing very well. Tactically, we looked good. Defensively, we were sound. But the red card completely skewed it. Mkhitaryan went off. Fellaini came on to solidify that defence. But it took away any sort of attacking threat that Man United had. Mkhitaryan would obviously feel hard done by, but it was a move that had to be made. And Marcus Rashford ran his socks off. Did everything he possibly could. And obviously had that one chance in the second half. You know, he turned David Luiz. And then he turned, twisted the blood of Gary Cahill. But then he's finished. He couldn't finish it with his left foot. Good save by Courtois. And I think Mourinho will be proud of what he saw from his players tonight. He won't be pleased because we lost. We're out of the FA Cup. But I saw 11 players who only the second time this season have played with three at the back. We tried it out against Rostov, I think, to warm the players up for what was coming at Chelsea. But without Zlatan Ibrahimovic tonight, without Anthony Martial, who I would argue are two best attacking players, alongside Henrik Mkhitaryan. Man United gave it everything. Right at the end, you know, Rojo was superb at centre-back. Antonio Valencia making himself look like the best right-back in the Premier League. Marcus Rashford outstanding in a sole striker role, which was tough tonight because there was so much running for him to do off the ball that he hardly had any energy when he had the ball. Someone I think that could definitely have done more was Paul Pogba. Uh, I felt in the first half he was in the match. You know, there was a period where he put in an excellent tackle on Eden Hazard, and 10 seconds later he was in Chelsea's six yard box, running box to box. Second half, when Man United went down to 10 men, Paul Popper's head dropped. I think Paul Popper didn't enjoy the fact that Chelsea had the run of the game so much. He was turning left, right, trying to get in the match, frustrating little niggly passes and draws that weren't working out, sorry, passes and tackles that weren't working out for him. And his energy went down a little bit. You know, he could have probably got the ball off there of Kante, but Kante doesn't score that nine times out of ten. It was just an excellent goal. Saving his goals for against Man United. And people were, people were singing about Kante a bit too much, man. He wasn't that good up until the point where he scored the goal. But the BBC were deep-throating Kante all day long. And, you know, you've got to be proud from what you saw from the players in the... 10 men with 60 minutes against a team who were running away with the league at home. We could have lost that 3-4-0 like we did early this season. We didn't. It's frustrating a little bit. Yes and no. But you know. Anyway, I kind of run out of things to say, so I'll run through a few of your comments. Plenty coming in here. Someone saying, Pop was our best player until we had 10 men. You can't ask a 23-year-old to magically rainbow it from our half. Um, No. Valencia was better, Rojo was better, Rashford was better. Three straight away. Ander Herrera was... You know, that, that's Ander Herrera's game. He's got a snide side to him. But Oliver, for, him, for Oliver to send Herrera off and to not even book Valencia, 
There was two tackles in a four minute period in that second half where Valencia should have easily got a yellow card. Got a, neither got a yellow card. It's that fucking lack of consistency that undermines his decisions from earlier in the game. Awful. And something that was awful as well, we see Chelsea fans screaming, fuck off Mourinho, at Mourinho, the man who has won three titles for them. Chelsea fans, remember, you've only got five titles in your history. Mourinho's won three of them. And that's happened in the last decade. And you're telling him to fuck off because he's gone and joined the club that he's always wanted to join. Salty. Absolutely salty. People are going to say, I've got, I'm full of salt tonight because of that result. But 10 men away at Stamford Bridge, the way Chelsea are playing at the moment, it was a surprise that United only lost that 1-0. And... Our focus right this season is definitely going to be the Europa League, what it is, obviously. Now, it is definitely was the Europa League over the FA Cup. You can get into the Champions League by winning the Europa League this year. You can't do that in the FA Cup. Mourinho said it, and the way the league's going right now, it's a contingency plan for Manchester United. And I think that Man United are looking at it, and Mourinho's looking at it seriously. And why wouldn't we? If we beat Rostov on Thursday, we're through to the quarterfinals, last eight. That's an opportunity to win a European Cup that Man United have never won before. I would much rather focus on... Not that we didn't... Not that we took completely away. We, we obviously didn't have Martial because of injury. Ibrahimovic because he was banned. Rooney because of injury. We did the best with what we had tonight. And that 10 men killed the game. Our attacking threat was limp after that. Hardly had a touch of the ball in their half. Apart from when Rashford nearly did the magic himself. But 1-0. We're now out of the FA Cup. Won it last year, out of the quarterfinal stage this year. Herrera's banned for the next two games because that was his second yellow, second red of the season. So we won't have Ibrahimovic or Herrera for West Brom or Middlesbrough. But will we turn it around on Thursday against Rostov? Let me know what you think. And let me know what your thoughts are on the Chelsea game overall. You've got to be proud, I think, of what the players put out there. I saw a lot of committed performances. I saw some players who could have done more. But given that we played 10 men for nearly an hour, that could have been a fucking lot worse. That's it for the match review. Take it easy, everyone. Leave your comments below, as always. Ta-ra.